touch it. I can fix it. Just leave it alone. I'm tired of hearing that shit. I've got a stereo at home. I can fix it. What is wrong with this thing? Why won't it turn off? You can't. That's why I told you not to touch it. Well, maybe you should be more specific. God, you remind me of my little brother. Your brother's a white guy? No. It's the dipshit. I'm not a dipshit. Get out the car. I am coming. Man, maybe you need some food or something. You're a little irritating. You might have, like, hypoglycemia or something. Well, it looks like he's here. This guy gonna be trouble? <laughs> it wasn't the last time. No one's trouble when you're giving him money. What do you know about him? Well, I just remember him being old and sweaty. But he's not gonna be a problem. Well, not unless he's naked. Mr. Beauchamp? Mr. Beauchamp? Who the fuck are you? We're closed. How are you getting in here anyway? Get the fuck out of my office. Uh, Mr. Alvarez sent us. Who? Mr. Alvarez in Miami. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember when he ran coke out of South America. Yeah, he's long past that. Hmm. Mm. Uh, yeah, here you go. Look like you got somewhere else to be. It's been a long day. It's all there. Oh, I'm sure it is. I'm just gonna count it just the same. Yeah, but you know, right to where I can see you, that seemed kind of uh, disrespectful to me. So don't watch. Do I need to count this again? What's up? It's all there. Everything always is there. See, you owe 75 and this is only 61. 75? Fuck 75! That's all I owe that, that refugee prick. You tell him if he wants more, he can blow it out his Cuban ass. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell him that. See, you borrowed. Hey, I know how much I borrowed. I know how much you're gonna pay back, and that's it. Now he can be happy with that. Hell, he can be a senator, or president, or some shit like that. He don't want a guy like me hanging around. Yeah, you, listen, you, you you just take that to him. He'll be fine. He get off cheap to have me keep my distance. Right. I. Uh... The deal is you owe 75, and if we don't come back with 75, Mr. Alvarez might think we took it. That ain't my problem. We could call him. Yeah, okay, go ahead, go ahead, call him. There you go, use my phone. You tell him, I say, wait, when you get him on the line, you tell him I want to talk to him. I'm gonna tell him about this shit to me, and we, him and him, we go way... <laughs> Mr. Alvarez says it's 75. What the hell, man? I was handling things. No, you weren't. You were showing him numbers. No, I wasn't just showing him numbers. I was letting him know 
that I know how much he owed. But you just hit him with a phone. Yeah. Brett, still waiting on that money, man. He looks pretty messed up. I mean, what if he dies? Then we never get the money. I hit him with a phone. It's no big deal. Haven't you ever been hit with a phone before? It's kind of a big deal. Look at him. Why would I ever be hit with a phone? He would have said the same thing 30 seconds ago. Ain't that right, Ed McMahon? Let's get working on that money. I think I'm gonna throw up. Listen. Get us the money, and we're out of here. Simple. Fuck out of my office. I've got to count it. It's so. You got to count it, you got to count it. Oh, shit. Oh. It's all good, we can go. You wouldn't be so tough without that gun. That's why I have it. Who owns a rotary phone? I don't see anything. It's got to be something. It'll probably just go away. No, it smells like this don't just go away. We might get used to it, but it's not going to go away. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm telling you, it's going to like we're, we're going to get punched in the face every time we get Stop back in the car. talking. Now. It's, it's going to be like going 10 rounds with Mike Tyson, but instead of wearing boxing gloves, he's wearing dirty diapers on his hands. It'll be great. You didn't have a lot of friends growing up, did you? Oh man, there's blood all over my ledger. How come you didn't give Brett a warning last night? Who? Hey, that's my shirt. Who? The old man. You just hit him, you didn't give him a warning. I mean, isn't there some kind of tough guy code that says you're supposed to give someone a warning or an option or something before you hit them? That was his warning. You don't make threats or tell somebody what you're gonna do. That's Hollywood bullshit. You just do it, period. Are you wiping his blood with my shirt? Well, I didn't want it on my ledger. So you thought my shirt would be a good idea? It'll wash out. I'm not wearing a shirt with someone's blood on it. My mama gave me that shirt. You know what? I should get one of your shirts and wipe my ass with it and see how you like it. Whatever. I fucked up a perfectly good shirt. What the fuck are you thinking of me? <laughs> Pistolero! What the fuck? <laughs> wrong with that thing? Why would you fire a gun off in a car? A moving car? Do you practice being stupid? It just went off. Why was it loaded? Because it's a gun. Man, that thing was loud too. Do you ever hear about those guys that get pulled over for speeding or broken taillight and the cop finds a dead body and five kilos of coke in the trunk? And you say, what a bunch of idiots. Well, this is that kind of shit. And we're the idiots. I'm sorry. I didn't know they just go off like that. I was just, I wanted to check it out. 
You know, this wouldn't have happened if I was driving. I get bored. So this is my fault? Well, well, no, I wouldn't say it's anyone's... You know, I think we could share the blame. Piece of shit car. Dumbass accountant. I'm definitely killing Carlos when I see his ass when I get back to my ass. Definitely. That was wild. I can't, still can't believe how loud that thing was. Yeah, they tend to be loud, especially when you shoot them inside a car. Hey, that's the first time I ever shot a gun. Ah, uh, well, if you're aiming for the tire, you impressed me. <laughs> hey, can I shoot it again? Just like Marvin. We only got one spare. Well, just let me take it over there. I mean, I can't hurt anything over there. So wait, you expect me to, sp to change the spare? Well, you were driving. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. You shoot the tire out going 60 miles an hour and you expect me to fix it. Come on, man, let me just go fire off a couple of rounds and then I'll come back and fix the tire. I've never shot a gun before. That was awesome. You really did ride the short bus to school. <laughs> so that's a yes? If you shoot yourself, I'm leaving you. Cool. <laughs> I'm never gonna make it to Vegas. I'm either gonna die or I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. You looking at me? You must be talking to me because I don't see nobody else around. to my little friend. Then I'm going to Miami, and I'm killing Carlos. Mr. Alvarez said it's 75. Come here! You ain't going nowhere. You know, in all this confusion, I don't remember. Did I fire five or six? Wow. I think you just gotta ask yourself a question. Do you feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? We got no more bullets, this thing's out. So where does your brother live? What? Last night you said I reminded you of your brother. Where does he live? Nowhere. He's dead. Got shot ripping off some drug dealers. Oh, how long ago? A few years. Five grand. They killed him over five grand. It was less than that from what I heard. You don't kill a man over five grand. What do you kill a man for? Killing's personal. Money's not. You don't kill people over money. You mess them up real bad. But you don't kill them. They put three bullets in his head. So, uh, do they catch the guys? Do they go to jail? Dante? Dante? The guys that did it, whatever happened with them? They screamed like cowards. <laughs> 